What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. Question is Is living. Oh, PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thanks, everybody, for supporting. Title of this is Is Living Your Truth Counterproductive? You know, people say they need to speak their truth and live their truth. And I got to ask, is that counterproductive? Because people who are so fickle and, 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 and ephemeral that their truth changes. The, 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 what they feel is truth changes. You know, when you want to, I, I want to, you know, speak my truth, right? Is that, is that truth actual truth that's going to stand through your lifetime? Or is this, a, is this truth a season? Because what I'm realizing is a lot of people who are speaking their truth, they've went into a different season of, I guess, consciousness. And now this new consciousness gave them a new truth. And now they're speaking this truth. But without recognizing that they have a history of becoming conscious to something, becoming conscious to something, and speaking out, you know, speaking their truth in that state. And forgetting when they got when they get a new consciousness that people still remember the things that they said that they said in their truth previously even if the truth the two truths are, are contradictory to one another you still know what's in you and the reason i say that i ask is counterproductive is because though multiple things can be true at the same time it can it can also be true that People are learning new ideologies and having new frame f- frameworks or frames of mind that's true to them that they use conveniently to get over or get ahead. So this is my truth today, and this is I'm speaking my truth today. But if my truth is inconvenient and it costs me anything, I'm going to... Go back to the old truth that didn't cost me as much and speak that truth again because I want to have multiple truths to speak with 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 no consequences for that truth. Right. But it's a shame that you have to have consequences for truth, but I don't believe people are being truthful. I think their truth is a lie. Uh, Now, let me get into the idea of, you know, I'm a living my truth. I think the same thing. I think people who are living their truth, this is a new truth that they got recently that they're living out. It's a fad. It's a phase. You know, it's like an S curl in the 90s. I was living my S curl truth. You know, prior to that, I was living my flat top truth. You know what I'm saying? After that, I was living my, you know, uh, fade and waves truth. And then Tupac was out and I cut it all off, right? And I'm living my bald truth, right? But now my half said, mm, this going to be the truth, pimp. You ain't coming back. I'm sick of you messing with me. But I'm just using that as a reference, you know. Same thing with fashion, you know. We, we, we live our truths, but our fashion says you live, you live, your truth is a trend, you know. Your truth is hammer pants, you know. To, to sagging pants, to, to big to big old extra extra large t-shirts, to button up shirts, to no to wife beaters, then to button up shirts, to throw back throw back jerseys prior to the button up shirts. You know, not you know to you know skinny shirts and skinny jeans and all of these are you living your truth, right? You know New show came, you know, now we're back to, to, to being 
pan Africanists and, 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 and whatnot and black first. Now black first is our truth. Previously it wasn't. Trapping was the truth for some. So the reason I gotta ask is living your is living your truth counterproductive is because all of a sudden this this selective truth and selective memory work hand in hand. Because your truth isn't true for everybody. Like a truth is a truth is a truth. Two plus two is what? Four. Everybody knows that to be true. Okay? But if I say I'm living my truth and it ain't four no more because I'm living my truth. Now I'm going around creating unnecessary conflict with, with the norms of society. And then I come back later and say, you know what? My new truth is four plus four is, the, is two plus two is four. I'm sorry. You know, now, now I'm back to that truth. Well, the truth is, you're just looking to be free. And here's the thing. Some people want to be want to feel free at the expense of peace of mind and sanity, order, structure, and just common sense. Because the feeling of free has no responsibility, in my opinion. So, you know, when people live their truth, their truth is, is to me, a low-key way of saying, I'm living, this is how I'm going to free myself and be free. But, are you, what, you look, what it looks like is you're being free to be irresponsible. You, you, you're, you're freeing yourself of, of, of um, consequence. You just want to be impulsive. And do what you want to do. And if it affects other people, you're living your truth. So how your truth affects other people doesn't matter to you because you're in the feeling of your truth. Even if your truth, you know, even if your truth is detrimental to other people, because you don't want to get you don't want to live your truth away from other people. You want to live your truth around other people that 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 your truth can spill off on and affect. And affect, not infect. But to a degree, in fact, also, because if if you can live your truth and you can infect them to live theirs, you know, thus you, you, you start multiplying people who have all these truths that they're living that, by the way, don't have them being responsible for anything. So now what? You know. So, so the, the so what you're seeing is people who want to speak their truth and live their truth without, you know, who can't take the good with the good and the bad with the bad. You know, they want to they, they got a new truth when when it's time to pay the cost to be the boss. You want these people to be free and live free and live their truth and speak their truth, but you want somebody else to do the heavy lifting so you can keep so you can uphold. The ability to speak your truth and live your truth. So they, so they can't live their truth. Because if they live their truth, you know, you, you know, it might cost you because it might cost you to actually have to actually do something um, realistic and responsible and adult-like in this, and productive in this society. You know, so... I got to ask, you know, once again, is living your truth counterproductive? And because to a degree, the way people use it now is very selfish. I'm living my truth. But your truth is very, very narcissistic. And a narcissistic truth is really a lie. Like, people aren't living their truth, they're living their half-truth. Because if they were living their whole truth, um, they wouldn't have this much guilt, angst, 
a anxiety, stress. Because if they were so free, their truth wouldn't be as stressful as it is. But what's happening is their truth is stressful because just because you want to live your truth, you also got to pay for your truth too. But since people don't want to do that, it's a problem. So um, I'm done on this one. Like, share, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.